I'm extremely wet. Gas prices are at an all-time high when I go on a road trip. I managed to successfully install both socks and my underwear. I'm clothed. And now I'm about to hook up to this huge thing. Nothing like slightly hindering your fuel economy. Like hooking it up to a 29 foot beast. We're going from Central Florida to Western New York. Yeah, this thing will hinder some fuel economy. Okay, the Mammoth is hooked up. It's 1100, there goes my phone, 1700 miles, 11, 17. The first obstacle, other than stomaching the future fuel prices, is to get out of my driveway. One obstacle down. I don't, I'm, I'm hoping not very many to go. Let's fly. 5.25 p.m. Haven't gone a mile, but just wanted to document the time left, because that's how every trip goes. Not even an hour in. Oh, it, it was about 30 minutes, I'm in the snacks. I managed to get gas at $4.60 a gallon, and so far I've seen it only at $4.75, so first, first tank, success. That's where they filmed one of the zombie land scenes. The place is dead, even has a cart still there. Making my first pass! Woohoo! Gotcha, sucker! Stop number one! Listen to all this noise. Ah. First stop. <laughs> What's hilarious is, um, well, that noise. And that noise is my anti-sway system. For all you uh, people that never really have ever towed a trailer, it's a system in which it prevents, well, let me put some fuel in this thing and I'll explain it in a second. Still drinking it, fueling it, not good. 14 gallons, not good. But this is better. Everything else has been 475, but this is 440. And if you're good at math, you'll realize that the first stop was a little bit more expensive, and this is cheaper. Okay, so this is the anti-sway mechanism. So basically how this works is your ball is like a hinge, right? Imagine the hinge on a door. It moves open and close easily. Well, this bar and that bar act as rust inside the hinge. With rust, there's resistance and it's harder to open and close. Now, if you remove this, it would be like adding lubricant. You'd have your easy hinge. This is supposed to help the trailer not to sway. You don't want an easy hinge when you're going down the road because if you have an easy hinge, you're, everything just wants to move. You want it solid. Uh, $67.64, 15.34 gallons. Road trip! While I have the opportunity to have both hands off the wheel, I'm gonna fill up the old water. Oh yeah, hydration will be enjoyed. That's high quality H2O. They have the nicest sign out of all of them. And then you have George's sign that's like so ergonomic, economic. George's got nothing on Florida's sign game. 421? What the heck? I thought Florida would be the cheapest. Georgia! You don't gotta set the signs, but you gotta set the fuel price. Okay, we made it to another Loves. I don't know how much more, much longer I can go. I don't wanna not find parking and then just having to keep on driving. But yeah, I forgot to mention, um, 
Also, I have to go to a wedding. That's why I'm leaving. Duh. Sorry. I completely forgot. I'm like, man, there was something else I was, I was going on this trip for. Yeah, I was getting married. The last guy was having a hard time. He only got 10 bucks. I wish I could say the same. I mean, I guess I could get $10, but then I wouldn't be getting very far. That's kind of how it works. Ow. The car next to me has like 10 kids with them. There's no way they're gonna be able to fall asleep. So these guys, I mean, that's, that's better than anything. They're not falling asleep. <laughs> they don't need any supplementation, like any caffeine. That sleep aid crap won't help any with that. All right, we're gonna throw it to where the heck we go. I went two additional hours. My eyes are doing that thing where they're just, I can tell that I'm tired. So, calling it quits. Made it to a rest area, what, what? And it's got a pet area, what, what? I don't care, well, I'm the pet. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. The setup was terrible. It's 1.16 in the morning. What do you expect? I think I could have got better sleep at a rock concert. Holy smokes. Yeah. So if it wasn't a semi or their generator and it was cars driving by at like 80 miles an hour and then I had like, I literally had nightmares about fuel prices. And then I had some sort of friend visit me last night, which is not good. Just gonna leave it at that. And that's that's one of the quieter noises right there. How do you sleep? How do you possibly sleep with that going on? So I'm gonna make a, a concoction here. Got water, minerals, and apple cider vinegar. Drink of champions. Well, parking space, it was nice knowing you. Starting at 8.20 in the morning this morning. Granted, usually when my brother and I make this trip, we sleep for like four hours. And that's if we sleep at all. But since I had a bed, I absolutely utilized it. And there's our current mileage. What are we at, stop number three or four? Now might be a good time to Look at my tires and check other things. Make sure nothing's falling off. Everything's hooked up there. Yeah, looks like we're doing mighty fine. Well, Shell's been the first one who's conned ya. Uh, it says 443 here on their sign. It says 433. But if you look real close, like extremely close, you'll see that it says cash. Gloves didn't do that. Not a fan. Can't quite make out what these stickers are. Do you know what they are? 8903, 20.057. So we're in North Carolina now. South Carolina had traffic. North Carolina had traffic. There's your traffic update. <laughs> I'm eight hours and 15 minutes away. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm hoping just by turning the vehicle off, giving it a minute that it'll start back up and go. It's done this one other time, but it's crazy how it's done all of it so far and now it's giving me an issue and not like an hour away from my house or an hour away from my destination. I guess we'll see. Just had breakfast at, uh, I think it's 12.30. Get two cans of salmon, now. I was smart enough to bring my scanner with me. So we're gonna scan this thing see what's going on hopefully it throws something that's super easy or 
just like a battery reset and then we're good. The thing is I have a motorcycle, bad thing is is if we have to use it before we get to the destination. I'd rather be driving this thing and traveling on that thing in New York. And I'd rather not be pulled over here with my hood up. Ah! It looks like there's like a, a rich lean code or something like that and then like uh, 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 oxygen sensor is not working. Uh, I called my buddy Chris and he coached me through some stuff. And I found this melted end down here. It was actually hanging below the engine here. And this goes to an O2 sensor. So I just cut that off. Luckily I was smart enough to bring a grinder and some other tools. So I cut that off. There's the sensor I cut. That's the one side of it, that's the other. I cut that off so that way I could put my socket wrench on there. So that way I didn't strip it. And I got it cracked loose, but it won't come out yet. So I need, and not only will I go down the road on my motorcycle and grab an O2 sensor, but I'll also grab some WD-40. So that way this will come out of here. Okay, so here's the issue. A, it's melted. B, it's spliced together. And C, looks like the brown and white wire are fused together. So that thing's not giving any kind of accurate reading. Hey Siri, do you need a helmet to drive a motorcycle in Virginia? The last thing you want to do on a road trip is actually put this door down. So you don't have it? Okay. Um, does that part cross-reference to anything? Uh, just pull the bikes over there. Vehicle's still here. I'm so glad I had that bike. I just hope they had the right part. the codes and then hopefully it'll start up and run good hopefully that's a good sign oh yeah sweet oh, I think we fixed it luckily we had a motorcycle luckily we had connections Make friends with everybody you come into contact with because you never know when you have to call them when you're 10 hours away from home and say, hey, I need some help. And then your motorcycle, if you got a Prius, you, you're in, I don't know how you're gonna fit that in there, but motorcycle came in clutch. Took care of business. I just hope that this that was the fix. At least we have some throttle response before it was like Bleh. so so far so good. We're back baby. Well it's something is after I dropped the motorcycle and I started driving that was spitting sputter and I I'm like what the heck's going on now? Two for two? Well, there was a wire that came off of that as well, so I hooked that up right about here, and then got it going, hit the throughway, got to the parts store, the rest is history. Just, just going to a wedding with 3D machines is all. You never know what the heck's gonna happen. Yeah, we got power. Sweet. Literally right before my truck gave me issues, this was what I was about to hit. Thank goodness it happened when it did. Stop, you know.
this literally will not end. This wedding better have some phenomenal cake. I'm, I'm glad we're not stranded though. Like, I don't get it. I put, I put the fuel in and then I have to put more in. It's just, it keeps on going. This is like ridiculous. This thing is just like, is there a leak? At this point, I'm holding my own wallet hostage. Like I thought this trip was gonna be about 600. I think we're over like 800 at this point. We're still going. I can't believe that I'm going to sleep in this thing for a second time. Unvoluntarily. <laughs> no. Nah, not good. I don't even know if I'm gonna make the wedding. I gotta, I gotta put my foot down more. I'm clearly not giving it enough gas. I did not expect it to take this long and or go through much as much fuel or break down. Three out of the four part stores didn't have that part and I broke down literally before the largest mountain on this whole trip. Good night. Good morning. Definitely in the north, there's dew on the ground. It is cold outside. Gonna put on some clothes and get up after it. Well, Pennsylvania, you're a lot quieter. I appreciate you. Steve in the Carolinas. Can't say the same thing about them. They like running generators and diesel engines all night long. Let's go. But first concoction time. The rest of my toothpaste water makes up the old cocktail. Stuff that keeps you going, gets the body going. Oh yeah. See, it's cold. That's gonna warm up real quick though. Not gonna believe it. But, uh, uh, man, I can't win. this time in the middle of nowhere so there's like nothing around I took and I went um, I took an exit that said I had a gas station got off at the gas station they didn't have air so then I mean I have my little air compressor but all four of my batteries are dead so that's great I get off that exit and there's no way to get back on the interstate at that exit so I had to go like all down all these back roads and everywhere to get back on the throughway which has still nothing on it so this has been the road trip from hell it literally has there's the two dollar air filled the tire up now i gotta fill this thing up hey what do you know this one we're paying 4.79 Pennsylvania's winning for most expensive fuel so far. Well, we made it home. Marshall's in the truck. We made it to the wedding. They had truffle and vanilla cake. 